What is up, Generals? It's Fiasco. We're back with Ultimate General Civil War playing the J&P Rebalance mod version 1.24. This is the Confederate Major General. Let's play. All right, so uh, before we get jumping into the battle uh, skirmish, whatever, at Weapons Factory, um, Mike asked me a question in the last, uh, the last video about how I'm planning on growing uh, my Jameses. And my initial reaction had been to say, oh, you know, just make them long range, right? And for the first perk, I did. Um, and that's because it gives me effective extra range, and I feel like that's a really great, really great perk. Um, but what got me interested or excited about the James vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the um, second perk, and unfortunately I don't have a gun that's properly leveled to pull it up and be like, oh, let's take a look at it, what the possible perks are. Um, take a look at the James and see how it drops off uh, in its its maximum maximum damage or maximum range. Um uh, multiplier is 15% at max range and its damage range is 33 and three quarters to 45. Now that's not that dissimilar in terms of damage output. It's actually, it's the exact same damage range. But take a look at the accuracy drop for the uh, 10 pound ordinance. Okay, so it drops to 1%. Holy shit. Take a look at the 10 pound parrot. Uh, slightly wider damage range and a slightly shorter range uh, max range but it's the same accuracy so what am I getting at what's my point um, and let's take a look at the like the premier long range laser so my cat's playing with a plastic bag awesome good time for recording that's exactly when that's gonna happen obviously premier long range laser is the 20 pound well, this is the long range missile so it gains uh, twenty percent accuracy at max range. Again, wider on the damage curve, but uh, actually no, wider and also less. Uh, it's a shorter damage curve, but better accuracy. So where's the king? The king right now seems to be the four point one inch siege, four point five inch siege, um, with the same damage range. Where's this thing? There it is. Um, but phenomenal accuracy at max range, kind of like the Whitworth, which actually gets more accurate at, it actually, come to think of it, it's, 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 is its most accurate at its very long range. So this is a gun that I'm very interested in turning into a counter battery unit. Um, so where does that leave the James? I think the James might be a very interesting medium range gun. Um, which would fill the role that the three-inch ordnance gun used to fill in the vanilla game, where it trades its high rate of fire and high damage range against mediocre accuracy, and says, you know, the damage multipliers, the negative ones are, are pretty bad, but we're firing faster and we're doing more. We're coming from a bigger number before you apply the negative. Um, so hopefully that ends up shaking out in favor of the three-inch ordnance gun. Now, I... Um, was on record as being a big fan of the three-inch gun in the vanilla game and have also been vocal about my strong dislike of it in um, in this game. So the State of the Union, the Federal Army is around 55,000 with a training range that is starting to creep up into dangerous territory in my mind. Uh, and the Armory is the same. So let's take a look at what we have for Weapons Factory. 14 brigades, uh, and let's say we bring, we'll pull out one brigade um, from i and yeah, so slight numeric advantage to the Union. Let's pull off a 1,000 men, um, and uh, they, go, they outgun me significantly, um, which is not terribly surprising. Um... So we have the same number of brigades. Presume I'll pull one brigade out and I'll be down to 16 just like them. They will have a slight numeric advantage and nearly double the guns because I am bringing two units of guns. So the other thing that I'm thinking about doing is rejiggering kind of what what the exact composition of the force is. So right now I've got the force that I took to Chantilly, which includes uh, one ranger unit, uh, one sniper unit, and then my block of nine infantry and uh, the dragoon unit I'm trying to level up. And I have three uh, artillery um, 
units. And so what I'm thinking I'm going to pull out is actually the 24 pound howitzers. Uh, and the reason I'm going to do this is actually let's pull the howitzers and and the snipers yes pull the snipers they don't need any more experience let's go ahead and pull in one of the other artillery units you you've got two accuracy and shot shell damage that would be a good one for a james battery as well um i think i have a 12 pound howitzer unit nope not you Ordnate, 20 parrot, 10 parrot. I mean, I have it in the name, Joe. It's fine. Where do I have them? They must be in second core. I'm tempted to bring my six-pounder battery because I have the, the, the speed perk on them, and I like that perk a great deal. And this is a battle where getting into position quickly is going to make a big difference. Um... They have it, too, which... I should swap these out. Napoleons are garbage. Eh. Okay, let's just stick with what I got. That's fine. I think I'm actually one shy now. Uh, I pulled the snipers because they don't need more experience. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and fill the infantry up. Let me see. Block a nine rifleman. Do I actually need nine riflemen? It's a relatively narrow front. I might want to bring another light unit, actually. Uh, not the snipers, though. I want to get somebody else experience. All right, let's go ahead and pull. So we're going to get two ranger units. Yeah, 31st and 6th. Uh, and then I think I want to pull a rifle unit out. And let's get the Blakely some experience. How are they doing? Eh. I don't know. Not super duper impressive. Uh, okay. Do I have another six pounder unit? I don't think I do. I guess let's bring the other six pounder unit. Um, can I make you a six pounder unit? It's so weird that I want to buy six pounders. Yeah, fuck it. They're really good. <laughs> Uh, maybe, what does that do to the stats? Eh, that's fine. Yeah. All right. So let's bring you up. One minute. That's, that's 14. Yep. Okay. So I do have plenty of guns, plenty of rangers. Um, the siege gun. Did they lose anybody? No. Did you lose anybody? You did, but I think I replaced the casualties already. I think I just filled you up. And I'm cool with lowering the stats because I want these units to continue leveling up. Um, firearms, they're good. 375 is fine for them. Let's see if we can. Yeah, that costs barely anything to do veterans. What do I lose in terms of stats? Four grand. Yeah, I can afford it. It's one of the nice things about these units being so small. Um, ooh, yeah, you should you should totally tip over. Especially when these. <coughs> so it's it's one thing when the units are small, and um, okay, that's more than I want to spend. I like so this is this is a thing that I'm shamelessly stealing from Panda. He will use a certain dollar amount of of, veter of train troops, and then the remainder will get filled in with rookies. And I think this is a wonderful way to gently kind of nudge the experience level of your army up. Uh, and I think it's super cool. I think it's super cool. And in units that don't have a maxed out firearm stat, um, it's fine in my mind to do it uh, because... The firearm stat is the stat which raises the quickest. And um, you're going to be probably 
Just shy. Yeah. Uh, firearm stat raises the quickest, and what you get is these guys experience level up or level up via their um, the stats that their units underneath them gain. So, that's, I mean, you guys are mostly just going to be there for recon. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> Getting a weird stutter. Uh, yeah, I'm sure God. you guys can't see it, but I'm getting a weird stutter. All right, units are all in good sizes. All right, let's do this. Um, oh, let's play with officers. So you're gonna pick up. You're gonna pick up Colonel. I'm fine with that. Do I have a better Colonel I can replace you with? Yes, sir. Let's start see if we can try and mint a general. This is getting silly. Like Barto here. Let's put Barto in a unit and see what we can't do with him. Archer should level, maybe. I don't know. I don't think that many of these guys are going to level. You need a lot of experience to make general, it seems like. But Bernard B., well, I can't look at his number, but it's got to be like 97. You know, he's doing good. Longstreet, I'd love to give Longstreet a fucking core. That'd be great. Um, Kemper as well, similarly. Barto. Yeah, these are officers who have been with me for a while. How's my bench looking? Forest is wounded, right? Because he got wounded at two bull run or two Manassas. That makes sense. So expensive. Yeah, that's fine. Let's grow it internally. I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, I'm going with a slightly less elite strategy than some of my competitors uh, or other uh, streamers in the field. So, boom, there we go. So they outnumber me by a little over a thousand. That's not that bad. They outgun me two to one. They have the same number of brigades as I do, which is good. Um, and I see that they have skirmishers who are wielding shit carbines. What do we get? James, James. So I guess this comes from having more points in recon, I'm guessing. It's led by a captain. That's good. So poor efficiency, even though he's got two stars. Uh, Jameses. I want to capture those Jameses. That'd be great. And then lots and lots of 1861s. Jesus. I wonder if the um, tree or loot pool, I guess, right, to borrow a term from a video from MMOs. I wonder if the loot pool, like, I bet this would be the kind of cool thing that, that Johnny and uh, Panda would do is they would skew the loot pool towards the weapons that are historical for the time and the faction. Uh, but, you know, don't quote me on that. You've been ordered to advance. Seize the thing. Capture the weapons factory. That, that's probably a good idea. Guard this stuff. All right. So what are we doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I think we're going to do one of these. We're going to have one of the ranger units go over here with the siege. So let's take a look at the battle. Let's talk about kind of what you can do. So generally, the flow of the battle is that the army moves up into this region, takes it from the enemy, and then spends the rest of its time trying to bottle up the army in, in and around here. You look at the natural terrain. Let's see if we can't see it from uh, down here. So this is a natural great firing position, and that, that pushes down into this little bowl that makes them sad, or they retreat off into here. Um, you can stick recon units, meow, or maybe even meow if you get really ballsy here. Uh, and then my past experience has been that you kind of have some, I guess you could call light elements up here-ish that you kind of have to fend off or maybe go out and hunt. And that's to a degree what the, what the, um, the dragoons are here for. So we're going to go ahead and kind of put everything over here along with Rebel Fiasco and Mr. Standart, the Dragoons, um, the Six Pounders, I didn't rename that. That's a good job, Joe. The Skirmishers are going to go ahead and pre... kind of handle the movement, and we'll go from there. So my order of operations, or my plan, is essentially to put the Siege Guns in nice, thick cover, 
and put the skirmishers in a similar-ish position so they can scout. So the skirms are going to be scouting and the artillery, the siege artillery is going to be blasting away. Um, if they run out of ammo, that's fine. As long as they're shooting the whole battle, that's all I really care about. Um, I'm not crazy, crazy, crazy about usually splitting your force, but this is one battle where they literally can't get to me. And if I stay far enough back, I mean, that's all she wrote. And having having the ability to hit them um, from a couple sides like this is is... <clears throat> it's going to be really, really kind of nice uh, in terms of the way that it's going to hopefully um, unbalance or, or, yeah, break uh, the battle. All right, so we'll get them over there. We'll lead with 31st Ranger, and they're going to come here so they can kind of get an idea. And the rest of these dudes are going to hop along here. One, two, three... First division leads the way. One, two, three. Second division right behind them. And then third division behind them. Oh, shit. And then also the artillery that is not over there. Um, so we definitely want our fast. No, our James is meow. And then our fast moving. Where are they? There. Nope. Or fast moving six pounders to keep up with the army. All right. Let us see what we can see. I'm usually opposed to fast forwarding, but there's literally nothing happening right now. Okay. Things are starting to be seen probably by 6th, but theoretically by 31st. Big units, some splitting, but not not really all that bad, honestly, all things considered. Small units, relatively low training value as well. Um, I wonder if this is an effect of, <clears throat> I probably just lucky rolls, honestly, but also just aggressively smashing the shit out of the AI whenever I have the chance. Uh-oh. My recon report only told me there was two batteries, but here are four. And they're all 300 and men, give or take. Uh, how big are you? 300 and your eight guns. How big are you? 300 and your 12 guns. Wait, what? 200. Oh, haha, <laughs> I can read, guys. Uh, I have a postgraduate degree. I actually have many of them. <laughs> Not many, but I have more than one. Uh, and yet, reading seems to be a hard thing. So, we're probably not going to be able to snipe with these guys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're already getting jamesed. That's not ideal. Fall back. Uh, yeah, fall back about meow. Or, yeah, no, I think... Because they can't go... They can't lead the attack by themselves, obviously. So... Let's just have them chill out a little further back. All right, that's one one of the the downsides of the speed perk. If you're not careful with it, is it? <clears throat> it's a good way to get out of position. All right, no double tree anymore. That's fine. Your scouts, you need to scout. The same for you, my good man. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Oh, they did get some some splitting. Quite a bit of artillery on this field. My goodness. All right. Yep, good. You've eked your way back out of vision. Oh boy. Oh, gents, I feel like this is probably going to hurt. Um, clearing off that artillery. That's going to be no fun. No fun at all. However, Utasi, Utasi, 3rd Maryland, Trimble, and Ford. If this really is the sum of the infantry, and they've put 
a stupendous amount of their manpower into artillery with, I think, our recon report suggested there were two units of skirmishers. So we know that's that's coming. Um, this is going to be really shitty on the approach, but if they've overloaded this heavily into artillery, this is an unbalanced army, and honestly, this should go pretty well. Uh, what? Have 16 of the guns just not shown up yet? Did they get... Did they get reinforcements in this battle? That's interesting. Yeah, because a bunch of the infantry hasn't shown up either. Hmm. No, stay there. <clears throat> All right. Is this first division? Yep. Cool. First division advance into contact. Second division move to support. Third division the same. And second Triku. <laughs> I have failed to give you any orders. Yep. Way to utilize those troopers. Ah, shit. We're in James range. All right. Let's just do our darndest not to lose a cannon and get the hell back. Alright. So what I'm doing now is I'm advancing with the six pounders. I've got the James and counter battery mode. Um, it's not where I think it would be best utilized. Like that distance. We just talked about how it's not great. <coughs> <coughs> we just talked about how it's not great at that distance. So let's see if we can't get you uh, outside of their range siege gun, even if that does mean you're in the open. And then we, if we can't give them a more tempting target as well. Because I, I can't visualize right now what a siege gun's range is. It should be the same as a James's, though. And I think those six-pounders are going to do some interesting things... Um, once they're in position. Nice. Just on the outside of the jam or the siege range. And the snipers are <coughs> the rangers are in it too now. Alright. So Combat has been joined. 31st can move up and try and take out some of these lighter units or work on those. And we'll see what we can do with the siege gun. Where are they pointed? Ah, yes, they're pointed in the worst possible direction as far as they're concerned. Excellent. Really? Really? Come on! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Jesus, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, okay, he's getting artillery. I thought it was just musketry. Just errant musketry that was the problem. You're right, I, I suppose I can't bitch as much about artillery. That's, you know, yeah, that happens. Watch them. 
soon as these guys figure out where, what direction they're pointing their guns in. That'd be great. Let me know. There it is. Nope, 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 nope. Keep shooting that until it's gone. All right, you've done your job. You're the target, or you're the, uh, the bait. <clears throat> All right. You go there. Watch my left. You move up. First division's getting in. Yeah, these Jameses are real. They hurt. They are not great. We just gotta kick them out of the woods, and then I think things get a little more bearable once that happens. Um, yep, good stuff. We really need to develop a counter-battery mission. We're there. We're there. We're just not all the way there yet. are doing their thing. Sieges are doing their thing. And the skirmishers are doing their thing. We're mostly okay. Let's let them rest as they've taken quite a few more casualties than I was hoping they would. Second division, your turn in the front. Thought process here is to keep the <clears throat> cast of who's in the front rotating so that the casualties are hopefully spread out a little bit more evenly. We shall see, obviously, how well that ends up uh, working in practice. Third's having a bad day. I respect it. I get it. <clears throat> Let's put some shots on Shermer, Mark II. Get them morale shocked. We're probably not that far off. Come on, give me a white. Give me a white shield. There it is. Good job. Good job. All right. First rifles. Keep hunting. Look at uh, elements of third division. Um, leading the attack on the north. This is not the kind of thing that I think is really the most efficient utilization of my two two-star units. Okay. You're still doing good. Just go there and recon things, buddy. Appreciate it. <clears throat> All right, you fire and move. Um, fire and move. First part of that is fire. Fire. There you go. All right, now move. Mm 
Alright, things are going mostly okay. Um, some parts more okay than others, we'll say. <coughs> Alright, finally we've created the hole wide enough for my... Uh, Dragoons to get involved in the mix. Come on, Siege. Show me what you got. Honestly, if you outnumber them this much, you can just charge, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, let's get you into some cover. Let's see what you can't see. Yeah, exactly. Siege is probably in a good location, Mia-ish, to start kind of really tearing their artillery piece apart. Uh, one of the interesting things about this battle is just how overdeveloped their artillery mission is. And it's, it's interesting to me. There you go. Shoot them. That's fine. Shoot them. Let's knock out a whole battery if we can, shall we, gents? Good shooting. Good shooting. Excellent. Great shooting. Don't give them a chance to breathe. All right. Good work, gents. Good work. Yep, that's not wonderful. Okay, so the only saving grace I've got as far as uh, the James seems to be is that I don't think it's really all that good as a uh, as a um, a canister platform. Seems like what is ta what is taking so long? What the shit was that? Alright, your job is this way. Alright. So the light elements plus first rifles and maybe third rifles are just going to work on keeping this, like, keeping the momentum. Yeah, actually, see this? See this kind of ridge right here? Let's get these units keeping the momentum in my favor and not giving them a chance to rally. If we keep those elements moving, we'll really break this apart really quick. All right. You, you, uh, I guess just shoot whatever. Yeah, just keep stuff moving.
Good. Good job. Good job. All right. Let's get another brigade up there. For coverage. These guys, again, Miles is clearly tanking here in my mind. Um, he's, he's almost certainly kind of eating a lot of firepower that would normally be um, <clears throat> enough to shut one of these units down, I would think. That's better. That's better. Yeah. There you go. Alright. Keep this up. Keep this up. Great work. Good job. Hmm. I know I spend a great deal talking about, oh, don't deploy your troops out front. And I do mean that. So... Just like I was expecting, this battle was really painful in the first um, the first approach phase. This was very painful as a battle in the approach phase. But um, it's a very unbalanced army that they've decided to field here. Uh, very overly committed to the artillery and light arms. And um, this is one of those games where I think you are rewarded eternally by balance. Um... A balanced command makes a big difference. Let's see if I can't cancel that. Yep. Got one anyway. And got the other, I guess. Didn't even do anything, which is always a good time. And the six pounders are right there to just go ahead and make their 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 lives merry hell, and then they're actually walking right into the range of the siege guns. That's all working out better than I planned. All right, you go down there. You are actually fine there. Wonderful, wonderful. Come back. It doesn't really seem like there's anywhere good for the dragoons to go in this battle. Yeah, so this is an unbalanced army, uh, and it's just fallen apart as a result. It uh, it put up a very, very painful approach. Very painful approach. Cost me a colonel. Uh, cost me several units. Quite hurt. Um, but, ultimately, it lacked the ability, the resilience of a balanced army to put up the kind of resistance it would need to against, I mean, frankly, against a balanced army. Um, every time I take the field... For the most part, I bring infantry, cavalry, artillery, skirmishers. I bring a combined arms force working together, and it punches well above its weight class in every every time I take it to the field. All right, let's see if I can't capture some of this shit. I want you to be melee rangers. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Keep it coming, keep it coming. You got this. I believe in you. I believe in the idea of mass light infantry going melee mode. All right, get in there. You too. And you too. I think there's something to this idea. I know. I just gotta get a. I gotta work on it a bit. but I think light infantry could really impress um, as a shock unit, which is not at all what they're intended for. I do understand that. This is where they're not going to impress. <laughs> they, they, uh, they're not... I mean, these, are, these aren't specs for speed, obviously. Um, but a version of these units that was could maybe do some surprisingly good work. All right. Let's put you right on the edge. You as well. You, in addition, keep the door closed. Keep the door closed. Near punishing them for the having the audacity of uh, 
Oh, oh, ooh. Back up. Back up. Interesting. Okay. So now we just close the vice. I think we just got the general. Right up on the edge there. Get my general in there. Get my supplies in there. We need first rifles to really deal with that cavalry, I think. Let's get them some stamina. Let's see if we can't use them to scout. haven't reset my charge, which makes sense. It does take a little bit of time to refill. All right. Yeah, there's not really anywhere safe for them to go, is there? All right. Let the skirmishers lead the way. We're going to be in trees, so we're not going to want to be on horseback. We're going to get the cavalry to come right behind them. Um, the dragoons are okay in melee. Uh, the Cookin Brothers is probably pretty shit in melee. Yeah, it's garbage. Um, but that's okay. As the Enfield. Whoa. Surprisingly good. Um, interesting. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. You two. You guys should be fine by yourselves. Just shoot across the river and make them scared. Get some stats. Okay. So now we, uh, I guess now we use terrain. is going to be interesting to dig them out. I'm not really sure what the best course of action is here, to be honest. I'm like not even worried about this shit down here, you know? I'm a little worried about them trying to squeeze out the bottom. Screw it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get in there. They're like glitch in the corner or something. This should be interesting. It'd be very interesting in my my rifle grenadier unit ended up getting uh, <laughs> like really good melee stats. It's probably not the dream though, huh? Alright, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, cavalry. Please shatter. Please feel free to shatter whenever you'd like. There it is. Or surrender. I'll, uh, with a judge's panel, we'll accept that. That's fine. Keep advancing. Don't, I mean, there's a unit of things you can... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right. You get out of there, too. No guns for you. Go take that. That's all fine. That's, uh... That's annoying, but still basically fine. It's basically just do that. And have these guys come out. Get back on their horses. 
cool. They get some melee kills. They got like one point, right? Yeah, they got one point. Hey, what do you know? All right, more stats for these guys. They're going to be exhausted soon. That's okay. Let's get some stats for these dudes. Oh, shit. What are we going to capture today, gents? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I think they're going to manage to break through. Yeah, I'd say so. We will get many, many of them in the process, but there will still be some that break through. Which is, again, uh, annoying, but fine. How are these guys doing? I mean, they've still got stamina, so while they have still got stamina, I'm plenty content to let them just run them down, I suppose. Go there. You guys deploy laterally and fight as skirmishers. I guess come back. Yeah, probably. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Keep going until you run out of stamina. That's my that's my advice. Once that occurs, I'm plenty fine with them backing off and letting other units handle it. Um All right. Yep, they've broken. So now it's like a shooting gallery. Awesome. This is a very interesting problem. Right, we are starting to run out of stamina, um, which is not super de duper surprising. But they're getting some great melee experience, right? Oh yeah, that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and break melee with them. I mean, the worst case scenario here is they get, what, caught in the corner? It's not the end of the world, right? No, wait, deep. that's not the way that I... Okay. <laughs> that's, that's not... Not how I envisioned you falling back. Let's put it that way. All right, let's get rid of Tremble. I'm sure he's really. They somehow got it within themselves to launch on a to to fire offensively, huh? Okay. Sure. I uh, I don't believe it, but okay. Yeah. Wow. They are having a real rough time. Tremble has had better days. Yeah, yeah, I, I just, anytime you feel like surrendering, it's pretty, like, pretty clearly helpless for you. All right, that's better. <laughs> it's just, what, what chance do you have to recover from that situation? Some experience for units that I didn't uh, think that they were going to need to be earning, uh, but let's uh, yeah run them down. So this is this is uh, I mean this is Harpers Ferry um, weapons factory I guess is what it's called. Um, 
It's it's. I mean, that's kind of how I feel like it's gone pretty much every time. Every time I've seen it played is more or less, minus this circus shit. Like everybody else is much cleaner <laughs> about uh, about this part of it. But yeah, I mean, like it feels to me like this is more or less how it goes every time. All right, actually no, don't don't block their path. Let them let them murder ball or retreat or whatever they're gonna do. That's fine. You go there. You go there. We'll go ahead and let this tick up a little bit. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. Let's let them just rest. They've earned it, I'm sure. Oh yeah, they've got plenty of stats. We're going to break. Perfect. Good job, third rifles. Just let them, like, yeah, fight, like, set up a little shooting gallery. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Just let them walk down that corridor. Get those guys over there. You too. Collect all of my various captures. Yeah, a little turkey shoot. It's kind of like uh, that one scene in the movie Cold Mountain. And you just sort of... It's just a turkey shoot. Let's use this little ridge right here as our uh, sort of rally point. And then the rest of the guys who are tired can... They can be tired, basically. I'm going to let them be tired. Just let them... They're fine. Once they get into position, they're, they're good. They were in a break. All right, let's get you some experience. Just run around for a bit. It's like, like I'm going to call that like playing in the sprinkler experience, you know. Just let them do whatever. You're going to glitch out in the corner. That sounds great. Have fun with that. You all can just go around or whatever. It's fine. can do the thing. Yeah, there you go. Ta-da! All right, let me crack my knuckles and let's watch uh, the little um, HP number here tick down and see what happens. This dude is like determined. I'll give him that. And he's like, I'll take that flag back, I swear. There you go. Boom. All right. So light casualties, really, really frustrating. Dead. Not just wounded, dead. He was one of my like, I I don't think he was like the guy that was like on the edge of coming over or anything, but he was like, he was up there and no one else made general because, you know, obviously they didn't, I don't know, stuff took losses and kills, whatever, who cares? Um. Yep. Pretty good numbers as far as that's concerned. I can't really bitch too much about that. I'm, I'm whiny about the officer, but at the end of the day, it's fine. Captured a bunch of that. Captured a depressingly small number of Jameses, but I'll live. Um, and also a lot of parrots. That's actually pretty cool. So, I mean, there's good guns here. They're, I am worried about how well-equipped the army is becoming. Like, that's going to be great for capturing stuff, but it's also an, uh, worrying because they have to face that, you know? So, anywho, uh, that was um, money, dudes, rep, stuff. Great. Can I get my Enfields? I think I can. I think I kind of want to actually get 
start working on getting these. So the Enfields, any of the import weapons, they are they're they're fine, they're good, but they're not like amazing. All right, what do we got? We got melee thing. We got speed and rotational speed. No, we got yeah. I mean, like I just don't, I don't see anything else as being good. I'm sure that there are reasons why I might consider other weapon, other perk combinations, but I don't, I can't see them. Everybody else do. All right, they did fine, I guess. Okay, um, econ is always a good time. Can I sell? Did they turn that off? I think they turned that off. Like, it used to be you could sell this stuff back for pretty good money. And I don't feel like you can anymore. Um, but it's also relatively affordable to buy. So there's that too, I suppose. Um, structures. Can I buy any scope with words? No, I'm all bought out on that, huh? Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Army Org feels fine to me. Feels fine. I'm fine with it fine recon i don't see it needing to go any higher logistics doesn't seem to be a major problem training could help medicine is certainly good I, I, econ to me seems like the right answer i want that at max let's see did the weapon sell for any more i mean yeah it looks like they sell for a little bit more now so there's that i guess um there's that to think about the 37 available. Oh no, better slow down. All right, anyway, I'm going to clean the army up. We are going to organize things for the Battle of... These all look like they are more or less the same. This has gone up, but it's going to be negatively affected. 5, 10, 15%. Negative 15% on that as to what goes to Antietam. Is this accurate? Holy shit, 63,000. Oh my word, 190 some odd guns too. Hot diggity damn. That's going to be a humongous army. Holy shit. Okay, wow, yeah, that's going to be fun to build up to, huh? Okay, um, we will get ourselves cleaned up and everything for the Battle of Antietam, and then we will have ourselves a good old-fashioned drag-out fight. Uh, I am moving uh, in the next couple days here, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post-edit this and then try and post it, and then... You should probably not expect a video for a couple of days. I'm not moving in a huge distance or anything, but it's still moving is still a pain in the ass no matter what. So just as a heads up, you know, hey, real life is going to happen for a moment and then we'll jump back into this. But in the meantime, uh, the army's looking pretty good. I've got one star basically across the board. A uh, limited number of two stars are becoming more and more common. Um, I don't know if it's really like where I want it to be yet just in terms of number, but you know, it's a, it's, it's okay. The CSR, boop, let's buy all of them that we can because I don't know why not. The import guns are fine, but I'd like to produce local if I could. Um, anyway, ladies and gents, I will see you guys in the next video. This is Fiasco saying I hope you had a good time. I know I did, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Until then, though, this is Fiasco signing out.